I've sent for him. He says he'll come. What kind of food should I serve him? What presents should I give him? Ugh, it's easier to buy his love, I swear. Oh, I'm talking too loud. Where's Malvolio? He's very serious, which is right for someone in mourning like me. Where is Malvolio? Uh, he's coming, madam, but he's acting very strangely. He must be possessed by the devil. Why, what's the matter with him? Is he Zuda? No, he just smiles. You should have a god nearby if he comes in here because he's clearly disturbed. Ask him in here. I'm as crazy as he is, if sad craziness and happy craziness are equivalent. What's going on, Malvolio? Hello, sweet lady. You're smiling? I sent for you for a sad occasion. Sad, my lady. I could be sad if I wanted to. And these marvelous crisscrossing laces do cut off the circulation to my legs a bit, but who cares? As the sonnet says, if you please the one special person, you please everyone who matters. Why? What's going on? What's the matter with you? My legs may be yellow, but I don't feel blue. It was addressed to him, and orders must be obeyed. <laughs> I think we know whose fancy handwriting that was. Don't you think you should go to bed, Malvolio? To bed? Woo! Yes, sweetheart, I'll come to you. For heaven's sake, why are you smiling like that? How are you feeling, Malvolio? Or asking me. Noble people don't answer to peasants. Why are you acting so brazen toward my lady? Don't be afraid of greatness. That was well written. What do you mean by that, Malvolio? Some are born great. What? Some achieve greatness. What are you saying? And some have greatness thrust upon them. Heaven help you. Remember who liked your yellow stockings. Your yellow stockings? Wanted to see you with laces crisscrossed over your legs. Crisscrossed? Go ahead. A happy new life is there if you want it. Am I a new life? If you don't want it, just keep acting like a lowly servant. This is completely insane. Madam, Count Orsino's young messenger has returned. It was hard to get him to come back, but he's here now, waiting for you. Oh, I'll go to him. Oh, look at me now. No less a person than Sir Toby, of course. Lady Olivia's own relative is going to take care of me. This is just what the letter said. She's sending him to me on purpose. So I can be rude to him just like she said in the letter. Get rid of your low-class trapping, she said. Uh, argue with relative of mine like a nobleman and be rude to servants. Talk about politics and affairs of state and act free and independent. And then she explains how to do it. Uh, she have a serious face and a dignified demeanor, well-modulated speech, acting like a distinguished gentleman, and so on. I've got her now, but I've got God to thank for it, or I'll be you. And when she left just now, she said, Take care of this poor fellow here. Fellow! Not Malvolio, not anything referring to my low station in life. Everything's going perfectly. Not the tiniest ounce, not the littlest insignificant amount of trouble or bad luck could ruin it. What can I say? Nothing can come between me and the fulfillment of my hopes. Oh, God is responsible for that, not me. And he deserves thanks. Where is he, for God's sake? I don't care if all the devils in hell crammed together to possess him. I still want to speak with him. Here he is, here he is. How are you, sir? Go away, go away, I don't want to see your face. Let me enjoy my privacy, go away. Oh, listen to this scary devil speaking from inside him. Didn't I tell you? Sir Toby, Lady Olivia wants you to uh, take care of him. Aha, does she? Come on, come on, calm down, calm down. We need to treat him gently. Let me take care of this. How are you, Malvolio? How are things? Come on, man, just say no to the devil. Think about it, he's the enemy of mankind. Do you even know what you're talking about? Look at that, he acted in 
insulted him towards you if he said bad things about the devil. Oh, I hope to God he's not bewitched. Get a urine sample. Take it to a witch doctor to find out. Sure thing. We'll do it tomorrow morning. My lady would never wish to lose him. What are you saying, mistress? Oh, Lord! Please keep quiet. This is not the way to act. Don't you see you're upsetting him? Leave me alone with him. Gentleness is the only way to go. Gently, gently. The devil inside him is rough, but we can treat it roughly. So how are you, my pretty little bird? How are you doing here, sweet little chicken? Sir! Yes, dear little chick. Come along with me. Shut up, man. You're serious enough to know not to play games with Satan. Damn that dirty black coal miner of a devil! Get him to say his prayers, Sir Toby. Get him to pray. My prayers, you hussy. I'm telling you, he refuses to hear anything about religion. Hang yourselves, all of you. You're all lazy and shallow. I'm not like you. I have a higher future waiting for me. You'll know more about it later. 